Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. I have a very exciting video prepared for you today. So in this video, I actually made over my hallway. That is, um, there's a hallway between my bedroom and my bathroom, and it's always just been kind of meh. Um, there was a, a bookcase there that just like didn't look very good and I always just kind of didn't know what to do with that space so I thought that it would be cool to try to make it over and make it into something really special. Um, unfortunately this video took a while because I was waiting for all of the products that I ordered online to ship in and with the quarantine there were longer ship times. So here it is finally and I can't wait to show you guys. But I just want to take a second and talk about um, my channel just for a little bit. So I've recently been looking at the statistics of my videos because as you might be aware or not that my channel is still very new and I'm still trying to get more subscribers. So if you were watching this and you are not subscribed, I highly, highly, highly suggest you subscribe. Um, I do a lot of fun things in this channel. I do a lot of DIYs, both like smaller scale, like little DIYs and then full blown room makeovers. And right now I am going to be redoing my entire house, basically, um, room by room. I am a renter, so I try to find renter friendly um, ways to change a space. I haven't painted anything, but that is going to change. I will be painting. Um, so if that's something that you're interested in and would like to see more of, uh, I highly recommend you subscribe, but that isn't all this channel is about. Um, I really wanted my YouTube channel to just be like anything that I'm actually interested in. So you'll see if you look through all of my videos, I used to sell things on Poshmark and if you're interested on in that platform and um, flipping clothing, uh, you can watch some of my videos on that. And mountain biking. So. Not a lot of people that make DIY videos or like makeover videos seem to be into mountain biking. And it's outdoorsy, it's messy, it hurts, it's not um, for the faint of heart, but it is something that I am very passionate about. I'm planning to put out more videos about that. Uh, without further ado, subscribe and I will be getting into the video now. So this is what the hallway looked like before I did it over, and it's just kind of plain. I like my little yoga mat um, basket, and I like my mirror. The artwork doesn't really match. The bookshelf is very small. Just wasn't my cup of tea. So I purchased a couple of things for this video. I bought three rolls of peel and stick wallpaper. I wanted to do the peel and stick wallpaper versus the painting because I wouldn't I wasn't really sure what my landlord would say about painting plus I just I think it's fun. I like the aesthetic of peel and stick wallpaper and nowadays you can just like find so many different patterns and types. It's just really fun. So I ended up purchasing mine from target.com. Um some of the ones that I really wanted were actually sold out, but I really love the wallpaper I ended up with, and um, I'll link it below. I also bought this rug from, um, what was it, overstock.com. So I, at first I had bought this like red rug. I might be able to find a picture of it and like link it here. I thought it was going to look really cool and boho and be just like kind of like this like Moroccan looking like Indian vibey thing and it did not work at all. It just looked weird. Um, yeah, so I returned it. I bought this beautiful rug, um, which is actually behind me, but I'm going to put it in the hallway and um, it's going to kind of live back and forth. I might have to get two. But yeah, it's a beautiful rug and it was very affordable. I think it was like 40 bucks. And I also got this gorgeous uh, industrial bookshelf. And I started out this DIY the same way I did my room makeover. So I actually like made a little Pinterest board and um, 
and just like looked at things and kind of tried to like create a picture of what I wanted this space to look like, which was super helpful. I highly recommend if you're doing a makeover to make a Pinterest board. Um, so yeah, this industrial bookshelf I ordered off of Amazon and I will also link that. It was like, I think less than $90 with Prime, you know, free shipping. It was great. And um, yeah. So without further ado, I will jump right in. I think I start with the wallpapering process. So to start off with, I measured uh, the dimensions of the hallway and then I measured the wallpaper um, to be a little bit longer than the height of the hallway and just kind of like figured out how much wallpaper I was going to need and then just started cutting those down so that I had everything ready to put up and here is a time lapse of me doing that. Once I had everything cut, I started to apply it to the wall. So uh, you start at the top and then you kind of smooth it down and try to get all of the air bubbles out. And sometimes you have to pick it up a little bit and put it back down and you just kind of have to play with it. One thing that I found kind of tricky about doing this was making it straight all the way down. When you have the wallpaper up against an edge, like the trim of the door, it's kind of hard to get it to stick like right next to the door and be straight all the way, all the way down. So um, what I ended up doing in some places where it wasn't able to stay straight was I would cut little strips of the wallpaper, like leftover wallpaper, and I would just stick that down next to any gaps, and you really couldn't tell at all. What was tricky about this section of the wall was that there was actually a fire detector there. And so I was trying to figure out how to do this part. And I think I just ended up sticking it down as much as I could towards the top. Okay, so I got the exacto knife and I just trimmed around it as closely as possible, but I don't think it was perfect at that point. And then I cleaned it up later. I am finishing up for the day. I finished doing this wall behind me and I'm just gonna show you what it looks like with the camera. Okay, so it's still a little bit messy over here um, on that, uh, what do you call it, bookshelf, but I finished this wall. And I also brought out my new rug because I wanted to see what it looks like with everything. And so far, I love it. I just, I have extras and I'm wondering if I should do this wall also because I think I have enough that I could, but I'm worried that it's just going to make this hallway look really tiny. And then the other thing that I'm struggling with is I bought this peel and stick wallpaper and... It's obviously like a completely different style, but one thing I noticed is that this doorknob is gold, and this is gold, and this is white, and white matches with everything, so I think, if anything, it might just tie in the doorknobs, and I kind of want to give it a shot because 
why not? What's the worst that could happen? Okay, so updating. I just applied this wallpaper to this wall. I love it. I think it looks really good. Um, and then I also applied wallpaper to this wall. So it's starting to come together. You know, I was worried that this wallpaper would clash, but I think it works. And especially once we put together the, um, the shelf, which is over here in my room, I think it'll, it'll be good. Okay, and this is the new shelf. It did not take very long to put together, maybe an hour. Um, I did it all by myself, and I have just drilled it in right here so that it's secured to the wall. And if I do ever need to open the breaker, all I have to do is just take the screw out. Um, but I think it looks great, and I'm about to style it right now. much for watching. If you have made it to this point in the video and you are not subscribed, please consider subscribing. I really do have so much fun making these videos and my channel could really use some support. So um, go ahead and like that video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and I will see you here next time. Bye!